technology in startups. You know, we generally say if something was going to take 45 days, expect it to be 90 days minimum. It might be six months too. That's how it works. So it actually never uh, works according to how you plan, and it's that's how the world works. Uh, so that is something with a little bit of experience it comes. You know, you know that okay, somebody said 45 days, I'm going to add on double the time, and still there's going to be it's not going to be done. And even if it is done, there's going to be bugs and problems. I'm going to tell you a real story here. So I was uh, launching, think about the Apple Watch, uh, 10 years before the Apple Watch. It's a necklace in the form of a uh, friend authentication device. It was for girls, aged between 8 and 13. MySpace was going down, Facebook was coming up. So we came up with a gadget which had its own social network and the only way to add friends is through your necklace. Now, great product, got our patents, got everything done, China manufacturing, work has say everything is done. About to launch our software guy, the firmware guy, the last version, they're in Macedonia building it. And they say, give us $10,000 or else we won't release the code. And they know we have already released the press release and everything. We are about to launch. And we're like, okay, what do we do? We talk to the investors. They're like, $10,000, doesn't matter, just give it. Let's get the code. We give the money, we don't get the code. Embarrassment. Social embarrassment. The whole Chicago community is there. We are like, wow, this is horrible. And that's what happened. After that, we went to any networking event, people would look at us and just look away. Look away. Like, we don't exist. But we didn't give up. So our investors were like, we don't know what to do now. I'm like, don't worry, we'll make it happen. So we found another person who built the code in America three months later and we launched it again. And boom, that was a success. That's what you do as an entrepreneur. Right? When everybody thinks you're done, you're a loser, nothing's gonna happen, your parents are like, Kolonko, you know, Bongshe Kolonko and all of that, you know that you can do it and you know this is only natural. You know, there's a quote that I really appreciate. It says, most people don't succeed because they fail to fail a enough number of times. They let fear hold them back. My name is Avello Roy. Avello, then I get the annoying question. What's the meaning of Avello? So Avello is derived from the middle name of Thomas Alva Edison. And Thomas Edison was in one of his experiments one day. He was dealing with light bulbs, right? You know about light bulbs, Thomas Edison. So his friend saw him explode a light bulb and in a diary he wrote down 9,999. Friend was like, what is that? He's like, that's how many times I failed building the light bulb. He's like, are you mad? Why would you even keep trying for so long? And he's like, well, I have figured out 9,999 ways how not to make a light bulb. He kept on going and thank God we have light bulbs now. So the point is, you have to give failure a chance for success to come out. When we were kids, guess what? We would falter, fall, fumble, and once in a while stand up. And parents would be like, oh my God, my child is standing up. Oh, my child is walking. But you fall more, you stand up less. When you stand up more, you fall less. Then you come to IEM, you're on the phone, checking out girls or guys, and you're walking and talking, and it doesn't matter, you don't even notice you're walking. It's your second nature, right? That's life. My first startup took me three years to launch. Just guess how much time my second startup uh, took. Zero to revenue. Any guesses? 21 days. Zero to revenue, 21 days. And that's my goal even now. When I build a business, if I'm not making revenue in less than 30 days, I'm not doing it. Kolkata went the same thing. Kolkata went was even less, right? The point is, that's what the Jugaru mindset is. So things will not work. Expect it not to work, but be ready to be rejected by the world. You, and if you have a co-founder, it's great, because misery likes company. Better to cry together than cry alone, right? Cry, feel embarrassed, feel rejected, and keep stand up and keep going. Stand up, keep going. Stand up, keep going. That's what we do. We are not the smartest people in the world. We hire smart people to do the job for us.
Right? When I was in my college, the guy used to be the topper. He came to me with a resume. I would never go to classes only. I would come for the exams. But the point is, I had to deal with the teachers. I have the professors here at that place. But the point is, you know, that's what we do. We are not smart people. George H. W. Bush, in one of his commencement speeches, he says, "Congratulations, toppers. See, average people, you might be the next president of the United States." So the people who rule the world, the politicians, the entrepreneurs, these are the people who come from the average background because they know how to survive. They're not the best. They're not the toppers. They're not spoiled. They know how to survive, think out of the box, do jugaad, and figure out life. That's what we do as entrepreneurs, and that's what we how we solve our tech problems.